Here's the top five bourbons for you to hunt this summer. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Hutch. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So today we're talking about everybody's favorite whiskey hunting season, right? Summer. Now, I joke a little bit, typically the summer is a little bit slower of a season for bourbon releases. You often see a lot in the March to April range. Then you kind of wait until like September, October, November, December, where it's just kind of crazy. Like the last four months of the year are bourbon hunting season for sure. But this summer we've got a handful of really interesting bottles to look out for. So I wanted to highlight five that have intrigued me the most, just doing a little bit of research about what's coming out and let you know what I'll personally be kind of keeping an eye out for. And then maybe you can add these to your list to keep an eye out for as well. Whether or not summer is a great season to hunt bourbon, hopefully we can all get one or two great bottles. So I got my list written down here since I don't have these whiskeys, just want to make sure I don't miss any here. Number one on the list is Blood Oath Pact 10. So the reported release date for this is May. It is 98.6 proof this year. It's finished in Cab Franc and Merlot barrels. So wine influence there, I think that's pretty common for the Blood Oath series. I've actually never gotten a bottle of the Blood Oath packed series at all. So maybe 10, maybe 10 is my lucky number and I will be able to grab one. Would be very interested to taste it and see. Let me know if, if you've tasted any of the Blood Oath stuff in the comments below. And what did you think? Because that's one I've had my eye on for a while and I'll certainly be hunting this summer. All right, number two on the list is a two for one. I always pair these together. If you've watched the channel at all, you know I kind of cheat a lot and make these a two for one. That's Larceny Barrel Proof and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B524. So these also come out supposedly in May. Some areas they actually come out in May, some areas they're two months late, but Whatever the distribution is near you, these will come out sometime in the next couple of months. I think Larceny Barrel Proof is consistently great for that $65 MSRP. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has been on kind of a crazy journey the last year and a half. The age statement went away. We saw a very young version uh, with A124 that just some people didn't really like. We'll see if B524 ends up being a notable batch for everybody to kind of rally around. Who knows, but it's definitely going to be fascinating, so keep an eye out for those ones. Okay, so third on the list is Chattanooga Bottled and Bond Spring 2020 release. So these typically come out around June. They come out twice a year. They'll do a fall release as well, but the spring one usually comes out around June, so keep your eye out for it. If you're not familiar with the Chattanooga Bottled and Bond series, it's kind of crazy and kind of awesome at the same time. So I actually have the Spring 2017 Bottled and Bond poured up here. These are always like a crazy experimentation. Some of Chattanooga's older stuff, to be honest with you, and just kind of unique, very, very unique and just different from anything I've had before. So this one, if you're wondering, has the most distinct cranberry note I've ever smelled on a whiskey. It's just fascinating. So if you have a drink poured up, cheers. I'm gonna taste it. Yeah, so interesting how that all works. It's like a cranberry sauce, cranberry jam, a little touch of something savory like bacon, and then some serious spice. So. Wow, just different than anything I've ever had. So if you haven't tried the Chattanooga Bottle and Bond, keep an eye out. All right, fourth on the list here. Old Forester 117 series, a rum finished bourbon. Reported to come out in July this year. I don't really know much about Old Forester's 117 series. I've never tasted anything. They do have the high angel share that people go crazy for. There's a scotch cask finish that didn't seem to hit as many people and be their favorites but rum finished bourbon is always this interesting discussion point wild turkey master's keep voyage i got that bottle it's the only master's keep i have 
rum finished bourbon. A lot of divided opinions on whether or not that's good. So I think rum finish is kind of a distinct, you know, you love it or you hate it kind of experience. Let's see if Old Forester can pull it off and do it really, really well. One note there is those bottles do come in at like 375 milliliters, they're not the full 750. So you're paying a little bit, you know, a significant amount of money. I think it's like 80, 90 bucks for something that's gonna go away pretty fast. All right, last but not least on my list, number five is actually the one I am most excited for. That is Little Book Chapter Eight. So this is gonna come out around August. Typically, that's when it gets released. It's gonna be 119 proof, really nice proof point if you ask me, and it's gonna be finished in sherry casks. So, Little Book Chapter Seven got glowing reviews. I saw it once or twice and passed up on it early in the game, and then it got all these great reviews, and I didn't really see it at a reasonable price again. So, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't grab it when I had the chance. Chapter eight though, I'll be keeping an eye out for. Sherry cask. I have a, a Starlight Sherry cask. It's only like four and a half years old, but the Sherry cask is so nice on that. So if Little Book adds, you know, a lot of aged elements, and I do like the Booker's kind of profile plus Sherry cask, count me in. Seems like they kind of bounced back with chapter seven and I'm intrigued enough to be seriously hunting this one. All right, everybody, that's gonna be the list. Let me know what you thought of the list. Do you know of anything else that's coming out this summer that you've got your eye on in particular? What are you hoping to grab? Is there anything I missed? Would love to just start a conversation in the comments below. While you're at it, please consider hitting the like button on this video, that's what gets it out to the most people. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Planning to continue to release a lot of, hopefully, helpful, informative, relaxed content for the rest of 2024 and beyond. All right, everybody, that's going to do it. Till I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey, happy hunting this summer, and cheers.